Joe deceives holding down that orange cut. He's able to find two assault with the third. So LAG win their gunfights off the rotation. They're going to be able to get set up properly for top AC. But you see Seattle Surge, they're putting a lot of pressure on towards back heads. They're trying to set up this crossfire as Max is setting up for the pitch. Yeah, never kill. It's going to be huge here. Assault ends up getting totally crossed inside of the office. And now <laughs> Seattle with numbers. There is three players making their way up the stairs. And Joe deceives. LAG, we said coming into this series, they're staring at a mountain. And right now, that score is mimicking the storyline that we had coming into this series. Oh, yeah, that was a full 60 hold right there from Seattle. Gives himself a nice little comfortable lead as Mac does not slow down. Finally gets taken off of that streak. But he does earn himself that cruise missile. Now Sid picks up one of his own. 15 seconds till Seattle are able to take nap number one. LAG trying to set up the pinch. Players push it through orange. Players push it through back kitchen. They have to go now. They gotta make a break, and it's gotta be quick. I mean, already this is a tall task for LAG. Can oh! make a play happen as Mac nearly snaps on to three. However, he has set Sib up for a 1v1 gunfight. Arsene's able to take that. Gorillas are still fighting, but now it could be accuracy. They've got the angles locked down. Only a few more seconds. 249 to 180. LAG still in it. Still fighting. They still fight, but Seattle just need one point. Uno, find these kills around P1. A lot of eyes, a lot of focus on him. As Pret, no surprise, he's able to answer with a first blood in round number two. And right now for Exceed, hunting for information. Has tossed out that stun. Is he going to be aware of the play? Oh! LAG basically still have you guys trapped in towards Embassy. Yeah, for LAG, it's just like, hey, let's just stand still. Just play a trade. Make them come to us, Sip. Let's have that pack out, Fred. Goes for aggression as Exceed ends his life on a five spree. What was it, 2v4, has now turned into a 1v2. Sim, oh, 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 oh. the all to do hits the snap. And I believe he'll be able to get that bomb down. Arsenis, can he arrive in time? Yes, he will. Denies the clutch. He's able to win his fight now, 2v2, and that bomb's got to get planted. Can Sib arrive? 2v2, as the bomb is now gonna go down. You're waiting Ooh. for his teammates to get into the play, but Exceed is able to line it up. I don't know if he connects Hold with the on. sniper for that final kill, but... Hold on. The young man is roaring. He oh, my. <laughs> All right. That's the game we're playing. The building exchanged. LAG now on the retake. Oh, LAG on the retake, and Jodice finds himself in a great position with that dead solid. Top should be able to find a freebie. Exceed finds a second. 4v2. Sib and Pred have to go big. Oh, what's up to the young guns? Pred at least able to answer for it's one. On the Sib, he's got to go for it. And Arsenis, he's punching in the digits already. Pred looks to arrive, but it's LAG. Left side of the map, but Seattle, they're finding openings through double doors. They are indeed. Joe Deceives trying to go for the right timings, does his job. However, the rest of the team not able to slay the rest of the members that remain inside of the objective. Exceed looking to get involved. Still, no segment officially captured yet from Seattle. However, as that 1v1 goes their way, they are on the road to what could be a full zone capture. We've yet to see it so far in this game, and right now it is looking good for Seattle. Winning the trades, and Mac, he's remaining inside of the truck. Assault looks to get involved, and Assault go. will take both. Big, big two-piece there out of him. And the second segment is not completed on the side of Seattle Surge. Now you have to fight out of your base, uh -oh. and Assault is cutting them all down. Uh -oh. He finds himself on five in a row. Pratt Wait. actually makes his way into the bottom arc, but you still have to get by Assault. Assault with the tack 56. He's making it look easy. Earns himself that cruise missile. You're able to stop that pressure. Now your main focus is on where is Pratt? Exactly. That is the biggest emphasis. This erased, and now they can focus their attention onto the objective. And recognizing such assault looks to bring in the cruise. With that, Mac will fall. Arsenis picking up kills himself. 30 seconds to go. Can Seattle get the final segment at A and get another minute on the clock? It's 14 to 9 and lives remaining. Seattle Surge, I'm pretty sure Fred still has that cruise missile. But he can't find the right timing to use it. He might have to invest it right off spawn, and he does. You're going to pick up all the information. The teammates just have to find oh. a couple kills. That's two down in the feed. They find an opening, trying to get over towards B. Yeah, player number six, accuracy. He's got a big gun fight that he has to win versus Joe Deceives. Meanwhile, it does open up a lane. Four seconds to go. Fred, he's got to go for the dolphin dive. you got to walk away with that fight. 
LAG, they win their 1v1s and they win the map. Hey, Seattle able to come out on top in the trade situation. Exceeds the only player here is trying to contest it still. Oh. He finds two but can't find the third on towards accuracy. What? Now you have to focus up, man, because you don't want those spawns to flip in. Seattle put a lot of pressure already towards stage. LAG now going towards the no. Oh, my! Evans! Good God. I don't know, man. It just feels like anytime there's a player right there, something either goes right or incredibly wrong. Some missed shots there from Mag. Seven and five. Barnes is trying to be that cutoff man. Being the player pushed out towards P1, but... He's still gonna get that close back spawn. Now they're looking for a lot of pressure on through double doors. No! They can't find any of the kills. As Pred finds three. Now on a nine streak. You can start to get aggressive on the map. We were wondering when Pred was gonna hit that next level. What? And he's doing The Gorilla's maintaining this side of the map. Staying pushed out towards stage. But you do have one player in accuracy who is trying to work towards the pinch and take care of him. Now it's all about winning these gunfights. They cannot come out on top in the engagements. Neither squad now. Gonna be able to get any time off of this hill, but what? Yeah, just doing a great job. No, no. At finding the no. kills. What a snap! No. Right there from the predator. Are you serious? I almost took off my headset. Reed doesn't want to invest that through his missile. He's keeping the gun hot. He does get traded by Exceed, but Seattle can still win it here with one more set of kills. Yeah, absolutely. They can still win it here. LAG, no bodies. They're really gonna be near this. Somebody can make a heroic last second play. It could be Exceed. Everybody lingering through the middle side of the map. We see a team kill that ends up coming forward. Mac wins that, and there you go. To team five, we head. Has seen size. We talk about Surge Destroy. A lot of questions on Surge. They win an LOC on Surge Destroy. We can all agree that SD is back in prime form. Mac again able to deliver with our first being a problem right now for LAG. It's a big kill taking out Joe Deceives as well because now you know there only has to be one player left in towards the site. It's gonna be okay. AD and he finds two. Tries to go for the snap on towards Sid but at least makes it a manageable situation. 2v2 now. Oh, this young man is confident. Thankfully he's got the cover fire. Great performance in these first, I guess, round of the half. And that bomb is going to go down. Assault on one side, exceed on the other. Now time for the retake, Sid eventually found out. Assault able to find it, and now it is all up to the Iceman. A 1v2. Iceman with the 1v2, he puts himself in a great position. He's gonna find the first Ooh. kill. No, he is not. Exceed cuts him down with the Vaznev. As we said for Joe, didn't really jump into money when he could have. Didn't really feel the pressure to make the play. Gorillas ready. And had the strat called down. Gorillas will be back on the attack, and this time it could be Pred. He's able to answer early, makes his way through the alley. He's got a plethora of information. Oh. Give him two. Oh! Give him three. Arsene drops, and just like that, round five. Throws out the bullet, but nothing able to land. He's trying to hit a couple wall bangs, trying to do the best two real impression. Two is able to read their setup, and even with. First blood would be huge. Mac. Stays alive, holds his irons, as LAG begin to make their first look at a play. Yeah, Mac is just holding down his positioning while he's doing that. See Pred on your mini-map, he's waiting for his time to strike as the gorilla is going to pop that dead silence. Work up through Cag Alley, able to take down Mac in towards the site. Now the bomb is going to begin planted in the 4v3. That is great work there from the young guns of LAG. Perfect timing. However, Sib ends up dropping assault on the outskirts, and Pred has just found the greatest Timing possible, right on the bomb, oh. nearly snaps. Exceed, sweat off his brow, but he's gotta get that bomb down quick. Not feeling confident of it, Arsenis gives the call, he wins his fight. Big Daddy Alec. There was no way, there was surely no way. Oh my goodness, tosses out a shot, throws a nade, nothing lands, but Mac able to find the first, can he make it a second? Into the 3v3 we go. Arsene is able to find one toward the outside, so Pred is wiped away, and from there, how does Seattle look to adapt? Iceman in accuracy, giving Seattle numbers, 3v2, time continues to tick. And Assault is in a great position to at least shut down this push. So he's gonna be the sole player from the Gorillas over towards this B site. He picks up the information onto one, oh. finds that onto accuracy, but they're just gonna get off the bomb, they're not gonna plan it, 3v1 now. Oh, it's all on to exceed, it is all on. So the young gun finds his kill and escapes. 
Now a 1v2. Accuracy toward the top. He's got information. Does he decide to go for the kill on two? That couldn't happen. I mean, it, I don't, honestly don't know. It just tends to happen. Um, but we're trying to make a change for that. Uh -huh. We're sick of that roller coaster. We're honestly getting sick of it. Um, so we're hoping to make it for that. Awesome. Well, I look forward to seeing it as well. All right, let's talk about the hard points. Uh, you guys look great today, and is this something you've been working on, making sure that it's number one for coming into this tournament? Yeah, for us, you know, we're a very good hard point team, man. We've expanded our map pool, so for us, it's just you know making sure that hard point is dominant, which I feel like it is. Um, and yeah, man, I feel like we've really worked hard on our hard point, and it shows. Yeah, it certainly does. It was a great game as well. Uh, let's move. Let's jump then right into that final S and D. Just coming onto the stage, you probably wouldn't have seen this at home, but. Fred, you're basically bouncing, walking up into the interview, you're like just how crazy and intense that game was. I want, it, I want it from your perspective of how, especially those final few rounds went. Um, look, we've been putting a lot of hard work in S&D and for us it's just to get, like we, it was good for us to get that map five out the way and start the tournament because I feel like that's really good to start a tournament. It gets the jitters out the way, you know, so for us it was really big winning our map five as well, a lot, under a lot of pressure. Um, and you know, man, that last round, that, that <laughs> Mac had no ammo for about the whole round. I mean, I was watching his screen, so that's why when we won and he ended up knifing him at the end, I just, for me, I was like mind blown what I was watching, so yeah. Oh, it was certainly entertaining for everyone as well. Uh, coming into this one tournament, you've talked about pressure, right? Number one seed, everybody doesn't know whether you new guys are gonna be amazing or not. What are probably the main things as a team you've been focusing on to make sure that it's number one seed all the way? Um, for us, it's, um, you know, the most important thing is uh, just to make sure we stay focused and, um, you know, don't really listen to the outside noise and stuff like that because we know how good we are. Okay. And that's our main thing, man. Awesome. Well, I'm glad to hear it. And congratulations on your win once again. Everybody, give it up for Fred from Seattle Surge.